today I'm going to answer a few questions about lasers and the number one question I get asked certainly about fiber lasers is how in the hell can a 30 watt fiber laser output a peak energy output of 24 kilowatts? Sounds strange, doesn't it? I'll show you how. Some of you may remember this diagram from the last video that I did about two, two and a half years ago now about how a fiber laser works. So just to refresh everybody, my particular fiber laser, which is a Q-switch type, a standard type fiber laser, uh, my particular one has 12 pump lasers, okay, or pump diode lasers that all work sequentially, okay, so they're all firing at a very fast rate and then there is in my case with my laser there are two seed lasers okay so the pump lasers are firing continuously okay and when you set the power output that's like the volume control okay so obviously if you have a high output of 99 percent these are firing at 99 capacity they fire into the fiber laser and then the fiber laser goes into a, a large coil okay it's wound into a large coil inside the machine it could be as much as a hundred meters all coiled up this is called the amplifier so when the pump lasers are pumping all the photons all right so they're producing photons so when all the pump lasers are pumping into the coiled fiber laser fiber which is an amplifier now when I say amplifier it's I suppose you could you could say it's a, either an accumulator or a capacitor okay so it collects all the photons inside of this coil of fiber and the seed laser which is the control laser okay when it fires it's like turning the tap on okay <laughs> which allows whatever's collected in here okay or whatever volume of photons are collected in here is allowed to pass through and out that may sound still a little bit confusing so I'm going to bring up a few more diagrams to try and explain it okay hope you can see that it's a little fuzzy this is a diagram which represents normal type of photons or light that we see with our eyes okay it goes in all directions okay laser light is called coherent light coherent light flows in one direction only so this is a diagram that depicts that. Still a little fuzzy. So this is just 
a, de a depiction of coherent light or laser light. So all the photons go in one direction, like soldiers, as it were. Now, this diagram depicts the firing of just one of the pump lasers. Don't forget, you can have 12 of these going all at the same time. And this peak here is just set should we say at maximum output. The th what is missing here is, and this is where, what confuses a lot of people, is over time. A fibre laser works on a completely different time scale to what, what we do. We work in hours, minutes and seconds. That's what we understand. A fiber laser operates in billions of seconds. So between each peak here could be five or ten billionths of a second. So don't forget you've got 12 of these firing at a 10 billionth second interval. Uh, just so you're okay with that, you understand that depiction. So you have each of your pump diode lasers firing at intervals of 10 milliseconds and in my case I have 12 of them so you can imagine even if they're only firing half a watt each over should we say a thousand milliseconds 12 of them have accumulated in this accumulator, okay, or what's commonly known as an amplifier, it's collected all those coherent photons in here, which amount to, shall we say, say for example, 24 kilowatts which is released by the seed laser when it fires out through to the lens and down to the work by the time it hits the work it is engaging with that work and if you could measure that uh, hitting the material would be approximately 24 kilowatts but the time interval that it actually engages with the material, the work, is approximately 5 to 10 milliseconds. It's a very, very short period of time. And it is way out of our time scale. We can't, you know, we, all we see is the material sparking, you know, but for a half second of the laser being in contact with the material and spraying all these sparks up and actually doing a job, this process of the pump lasers firing into the amplifier section and the seed laser firing. It's happened probably a million times. So you can see it operates on a totally different time scale to us and what we perceive as time. So basically, in a nutshell, 
that is how a, a 30 watt fiber laser can actually produce at the, the work surface 24 kilowatt because what everybody is missing out there and why they're sending me emails and you'll see it in the comment section on the, the last video what they're missing is the time scale of which the fiber laser operates so I, I hope that now people understand and you, you know they, they can maybe when I explained how a fiber laser worked last time on the last video uh, I may not of um, sort of made a big thing about the time scale um, so that's probably what is uh, sort of made people think uh, that doesn't make any sense so I hope it makes sense now um, so you know if you have any comments uh, or if you disagree with what I'm saying oh please you bash away at that keyboard and you send a comment in and uh, you know if you still don't understand I'll I'll try uh, maybe a different way of uh, of explaining it but you, you know please remember the time the time scale of which a fiber laser operates it is entirely different uh, time scales of what we uh, we work at okay so just remember we work with hours minutes and seconds fiber laser works at seconds milliseconds and billions of seconds that's the big difference and that's why it can do what it does okay then so thank you for watching the video and um, I hope you tune in for another video because this over this next uh, month or two I'm going to be doing a lot of laser uh, work so thank you all for watching and I must say thank you to the patrons that uh, back the channel uh, without them uh, this you know I just wouldn't be able to uh, make videos so um, until the next video bye for now